What is good? Diamond Diner Steve, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video today. Today, man, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, what we're going to be reacting to, man. T Room just dropped this video, man. We're going to react to. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend and tell a friend that today ain't Jim. I'm telling Uncle Joe, he's still a mother freaking ho. Let's get right into the video, man. Let's get it. So, as many of you already know, Jazz and Tay did finally <clears throat> reconnect for that video. No, yep, in my yep. previous video, I posted that. Crystal reposted a post from mm -hmm. one of her friends. And, and I've seen people try to defend Crystal and say that this wasn't for her, but. Why is it coincidentally, whenever they drop their TikToks and whenever they, you know, air their sh**, why does she post this? It seemed like every time, bruh, like, Crystal just cannot. I don't know, like I said in previous videos, I don't know if it's because Crystal just loves the attention or if she really just doesn't want Jazz to be happy somewhere else or if she just doesn't like Tay and she feels jealous, you know, when it comes to Tay or... If she wants Jazz back, I really don't think that's the case, though, to be honest. I could be um, wrong, of course, right? But Crystal always talk about she out here in the streets, outside, living her best life, this and that. She want a nigga to do this. She want a real nigga. She want a ah, 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 right? <laughs> but every time we turn around, when it comes to Jazz, she trip, trip, tripping, right? Either fake tripping, tripping for attention, tripping for a mention, tripping for, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't understand. So anyway... It was a picture of Nicki Minaj. Now, people were assuming <clears throat> that Crystal was bitter about Jazz reconnecting with Tay. Then her friend that posted the video stated, The tea room's so effing lame. The fact that we specifically tweeted that Nicki Minaj pic while we were on the phone talking about something totally different just shows y'all stay drinking piss. Girl, get on somewhere. No damn well you know what y'all was laughing about and it was exactly what we all think y'all was laughing about. So stop it. So Crystal responds stop with, it. oh, wanted me to give a F so bad. Whole time we talking about a whole different group of N-words. So now then she went on to Instagram Live and talked about the situation a bit and she pinned comments that stated, doesn't mean she's delusional. She's human, you guys. Be forgetting that. She also pinned a comment that stated, Y'all act like she's not human. She's been with the girl for two years. She has every right to feel how she feels without feeling like she's pressured. It was really her post and like, Crystal Press. We weren't even talking about that. We were talking about to a whole nother group of like, Anyway. <laughs> talking about a whole group of like, a whole different group of like. I was pressed to say I had a reaction. I had no reaction. I got so many. I got the little top piece right there is really fucking me up, y'all. Ladies, is that what y'all do? Can y'all confirm that y'all do this little, little... I know it's supposed to be baby hair, simulate baby hair, but what the fuck, bro? This shit looks crazy. You know what it reminds me of? You know back in school, y'all, when y'all used to go to the cafeteria and, you know, I don't know if y'all got lunch at the cafeteria or if you were a bougie-ass nigga that got, like, McDonald's uh, like your pops or your moms brought McDonald's to you at, at the school. But, you know, I was going through the lunch line. You feel me? So, whatever. Um, and then, you know how the lunch ladies and shit had, like, the fucking thing that they put on their head, the net that they put on their head. That is exactly what I'm looking at right here, fam. This shit is not... Especially the top. Look at the top. Ladies, y'all have to stop this. You know, the baby hair's on the side, cool. But what is this concoction she got right up here, fam? Like, what is that? <clears throat> She got so many niggas. She living her best life and all of that. But every time it come to jazz, you know, I be tripping and shit. I don't know what's going on. Could never. <laughs> I don't know why. I just do not like lamb chops, y'all. I remember one time I had went and I felt so bad because it was one of them places to where, you know, <clears throat> like you can basically pick whatever you want. They come around. And they tell you uh, how you want your steak or how do you want your lamb chop or whatever the case is, right? And I remember I was like, hell yeah, I'm going to give me some lamb chops. You know, I, I I heard that these shits was good as fuck, whatever the case is, right? Man, they must have brought over like three or four of them things of lamb chops, right? I must have been into that shit and almost spit it out. I'm telling y'all, that shit was so disgusting, fam. Maybe it was the place I went to. I don't know. But I don't know. Lamb is just not good to me, bro. I really feel like I'm eating a lamb. You know, it fucking nasty as shit. But I know a lot of people like that shit. 
<clears throat> I feel bad too because all three or four of them um, legs of lamb stay right there too. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, if you can't, that's one of the places where you can't take the food home, which is stupid as fuck. Cause it's just like, dude. I mean, I understand why they do it, but at the same time, like this food is literally gonna go to waste. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I don't like the shit. So, and neither did the girl I went with. She ain't like the shit either. So, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> And that's another thing, man. I feel like a lot a lot of people be like, oh, why do y'all hate so much on Crystal? Why y'all hate Crystal? For, for one, I can only speak for myself when I say I don't know Crystal to hate anybody. I don't hate anybody that I cover. You know what I'm saying? Like, all I'm doing is giving my opinion. My life don't revolve around these niggas. When I shut off this camera, don't nobody give a fuck about these niggas, bro. Not saying I don't care in that type of way. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, like, I don't care what they got going on. I could give a fuck less, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a shit. <laughs> Why would I hate on somebody that I don't even know? But I'm going to definitely give you a, my opinion, my honest opinion on what I'm observing while I'm watching this shit with y'all, you know? Okay. <laughs> That's so funny because food just always make you feel good, fam. Like, I feel her. I be wanting to dance and shit too when it comes to eating certain foods. Even think about food sometimes make me dance. Stop the cap. Stop the cap. Right. Heavy on the stop the cap. Because y'all left in the comments trying to make it seem like I'm pressed. <clears throat> So as many of you know, Carmen and Corey are no longer together. Shout out Carmen. Carmen is in Houston. She got her own place. And Corey yeah, yeah. has moved to Miami. You guys know Corey It's so funny because I keep seeing comments that say, uh-uh, uh-uh, we got to at least wait it out a year. Uh-uh, I'm waiting for the divorce. That's so funny because it's so true. Like, they have been faking for so fucking long. That when they really break up, niggas do not believe that shit, fam. We need to see the papers. He has been talking about <laughs> Carmen is an immigrant, and he stated <clears throat> Alabama meets Honduras, which people were assuming that this means that Carmen is actually from Honduras and not Puerto Rico. Now, Carmen has been quiet about that whole situation, but she has been posting videos with multiple men from YouTube, mm -hmm. including Prime and even mm -hmm. Michi. Prime stated, Carmen said, I got mm -hmm. the green light. Now, Corey then went on to tweet, let her be a whore in peace. Green light. Now, Corey then went on to tweet, let her be a whore in peace. He's boy. Now today he also posted a video from when he actually left Houston and he was crying about the whole situation. He was, <laughs> he was very emotional. That's a lot of memories. <laughs> can't just sit here and feel like I you know what I'm saying? Ain't no I can't even take this nigga serious, bruh. How you gonna call her a whore and then come on a video fucking crying and shit, bruh? You tearing this woman down and she has did nothing but speak highly of you. And treat you with the utmost respect. And you have the nerve to come on this motherfucker crying like we supposed to sympathize with your ass. Boy, get your ass on. The fuck? <laughs> stay strong, though. You know, social move game, like... We laughing at you. We laughing. Like... <laughs> so excuse my voice, I am getting over a cold. So if we I sound cracky, that's why. But Armand did drop his track 
Oh, nineties R and B looking ass, nigga, bro. Wish you well. Now I will say I really enjoyed it. You guys know he started writing this song a while ago, mm. and I feel like Armand started the song off from his relationship with Essie, Regi- oh, and then Essie. he kind of ended the song with Regine. his recent breakup with Regine. Okay. But you guys give your opinions on okay, Armand's okay, new okay. song as well as everything else in this video. Uh-huh. Let me know everything down in the comment section. I gotta Hold listen up. to it. I ain't Yo. listen to it. I ain't listen to it. All right, man. Yeah, I'm definitely not watching all of his shit. What is this right here? Oh, Toya and Regine. I had seen they, them go live. I didn't think they was going to be talking about shit. But anyway, guys, let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below, man. Like I said, with the Crystal situation, man, um, she's always saying that she unbothered or whatever the case is, you know, even though she is bothered. It's, she's clearly bothered. She clearly does things for attention. <clears throat> Carmen and Corey... I want to see the divorce papers too before we even before we finalize in our minds that they really done done type shit you know um i seen voice for the people had came out with a video i had watched that shit yesterday and um she was saying that carmen and michi were like liking each other's pictures and shit you know on the gram and like i said man i be telling y'all fam like i be i be peeping i be peeping and when i seen carmen and michi do the blind date i'm telling y'all man that was real that was raw and i believed them when he went on video and said look I don't know about all this other fake shit, but don't involve me in that shit. I was really trying to take her out. I was really trying to, you know what I'm saying, get with her. I was really trying to see what's up with Carmen type shit, you know? And people weren't believing that. But I'm telling y'all, man, I just, bro, you got to peep the vibe. You got to see exactly what's going on. And you could tell that was a genuine vibe that they had. So, like I said, man, I definitely would like to see content from Michi and Carmen. But I will say that Michi is one of them niggas who's outside for real. Even though Carmen is outside too, I hope that she don't fall for another nigga who just wants to be outside type shit. You know, I hope she enjoys her single life, enjoys herself. You know, fuck with however many niggas you want to fuck with. If they can do it, you can do it too. You know what I'm saying? So let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below, man. I love y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend and tell a friend and tell they ain't your mama, tell they uncle Joey Stiller Hall. We'll see you guys in the next motherfucking video. And I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby.